Hey guys, what the heck is going on? We're here with Mr. Cooper Barnes, the Team Bro Fire, and uh, Cooper played this weekend, and we had a, a lot of requests to kind of profile this deck on the channel because everybody was kind of curious about it. And uh, what happened this weekend? Um, I guess I bubbled. It was a good turnout, though. Okay. I think everyone had a lot of fun. Yeah, you almost made talk about what happened in the last... Uh, um, <laughs> so, I ended up not reading very well. I don't know if it was just nerves or what, but... The guy who TK'd me game one, and then game two, it was looking okay, and um, I didn't read uh, the Jiu-Jitsu Master right, very right. well, <laughs> and I got its effect wrong, and it might have cost me the game, but I played really terrible after that anyway, so. Yeah, okay. And, uh, but yeah, this is a really good deck. I play this against this deck all the time, and um, I think it's pretty solid, so uh, what all were your matchups? Um, I played the Chaos Dimension Fusion. Um, I played a warrior. I played chaos, and then I played two goat control. Okay. I was expecting to see a lot more chaos there. Um, there was. I just don't know if you played. I, <laughs> if you played against yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just didn't get matched up with it. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Let's get into this. Okay, so um, I played three pyramid turtle because it's the best recruiter, especially for zombie. Okay, why is it the best? It can summon any zombie with two k or less defense. So it allows you to summon bigger monsters than all the other recruiters do. It okay. also does not have to summon an attack. That's nice. So Sweet. if you're about to get OTK'd and your opponent runs into this, you can actually just summon Spirit Reaper in defense. Nice. So it does have some some uses. Um, this was probably the main target I summoned off of it, just because it doesn't care about battle traps. Um, Why it doesn't care about battle traps? So when it's destroyed by a card effect while it's in one of my main monster zones... It uh it comes back during my standby phase. Okay. So, um, well, my next standby phase. Is right, right. <laughs> um, yeah. So it just doesn't care about mirror force or regeki. And what do you usually call with its other effect to like send a card from deck? Uh, usually I call spell, because it doesn't care about traps, and then you don't want to just give your opponent free monsters like sinister serpent for goat control or um, any light or dark that they need for chaos. Okay. So, you cool. definitely want to call spells and try to get all the traps to their hand. That makes sense. Cool. Uh, I play the one Ryu Koki because it, it's better against Chaos. Like, Zombie can't play against Chaos without it. Okay. Sork, that makes sense. Sork has 2k defense, so this can't beat over it. And Gravekeeper Spy has 2k defense, so this can't beat over it. Do you think that you would be maining this card if Chaos wasn't so popular right now? Um, I probably would not main this card if Chaos was not popular. Has it been, is it a brick sometimes, playing like three? Yeah, but I also play some other cards, which allow me just to like pitch this to the graveyard, so it's not too bad. Okay, that makes sense. It, it becomes a free discard outlet at some points. Okay. Um, I play the two Spirit Reaper, and sometimes this card will just win you the game if you can like get two of them off at the same time. How do you do that? Um, most of the time I do that is by creature swapping the Pyramid Turtle. Okay. And, uh, we learned, uh, pretty quickly that Pyramid Turtle can crash, <laughs> crash into Pyramid Great Turtle, Spy. <laughs> yeah. Something that's kind of cool is if they have the one spy in attack and one in defense, because typically they leave it like that, you can crash the Pyramid Turtle into the spy and summon the Koki to get over the other one. Cool, man. So. I saw a game where you summoned Double Reaper. I did. That was pretty brutal. I lost that game. <laughs> but it was cool, though. I mean, for the... <laughs> the... Actually, I summoned Double Reaper at the same time that I misplayed really bad against that oh, one yeah. guy. We won't talk about that. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, shout out to that guy. He did really well. Oh, yeah. Kevin did great. Um, I played three Mummy. Sometimes I decided this out against Goat Control, but it's really good against Chaos if they're playing card destruction and whatnot. Okay. And it's also... It duo-proofs your hand. Okay. So, after you see duo, you can kind of just summon these as 1800 beat sticks. And there was one situation where somebody targeted, or not targeted, but ripped one with the duo and then you yeah, ripped the other one. Yeah, I had another one in hand. Cool. So, so, you I sent just two got, to the graveyard? Yeah, I just sent both to the graveyard and added them both back. Nice, nice. Um, I play three book of life because I do play a lot of zombies. Um, it's just, it's nice. It's really good against chaos, especially late game. Cool. You can just rip their only light into out of the grave and... At that point, they're usually stuck. Yeah, it does seem like you're playing a lot of cards that counter chaos. Mm -hmm. um, like you know, like most people don't play three book of life, three mummy. They, they, most people, most people don't, don't play main Ryukoki, yeah. so it kind of seems like you're kind of 
uh, building forecast, but you side out. Yeah, to, okay. I mean, I was expecting to play against a lot of chaos, so mm-hmm. um, I guess just that I didn't happens. Right, okay. Uh, I played the one Sangan because it searches the Pyramid Turtles, the Spirit Reapers. It also searches Warrior Lady XL Force and both of these guys. Um, <laughs> damn. This whole engine was just kind of insane. Um, it, it's just really good against Chaos, honestly. Okay. Anything that sets stuff, this was good against both Chaos and um, Goat Control, and so was this. So, it just made Sangan more alive also. Okay. I did play two reinforcements to search those, so I wasn't relying on drawing and Sangan to find them. Okay. Played Pot, Duo, Graceful. Why not? What also, your, yeah, what were your targets for charity? Most okay. of the time, I would discard a zombie off of this. Okay. That would be like priority number one. Um, sometimes I would also discard like second Nox because uh, Rhoda can search me the level two swordsman anyway. So sometimes it wasn't as important to see Nock. Okay. Uh, another thing about level two swordsman is like if they have a monster set, he immediately goes even because they either out him with a battle trap or he gets to send one of their flip effects to grave. Makes sense, yeah. So unless they set Sangan or Serpent, he he just does really well. Um, I played these four one ofs just because they're amazing, honestly. Heavy Storm's really good against back row. Um, honestly, the, the worse player they are, the better Heavy Storm is. And Snatch still, did you ever like snatch somebody's monster and then tribute it for... <laughs> yeah, so actually I had someone, I snatch stole something, and then someone snatch stole it back, and then I creature swapped to get it back. Um, I ended up tributing over that monster and That's winning cool. the game because of it. Uh, Premature brings back Pyramid Turtles, so I can creature swap those. And then MST's just an out to snatch still, or any other floodgate, I guess. Or you could just set it and activate during the end phase. Um, I played three two ofs. Um, this just allowed me to go d- deeper because I want to see my combo pieces together. Um, sometimes it was kind of a bummer activating this and then drawing into like Vampire Lord, but you know, it happens. <laughs> just the game. <laughs> yeah. Two ofs. Yeah. Um, creature swap is super good with like recruiters and floaters, so. Um, just like normal summoning a pyramid turtle while they have something with more than 1200 attack and then creature swapping so you get the uh, you get the monster with more than 1200 attack and just beat over their pyramid turtle okay. then it goes to your grave and you special summon vampire and do you ever um, special summon if they don't have any back row do you just like attack over and then special summon spirit reaper oh all and... the time yeah um, I mean there was a game where they had a monster set and I had a monster set, and my monster set was uh, Pyramid Turtle. I flipped my monster, activated Creature Swap, and took their face down monster. And then Normal summoned for my turn another Pyramid Turtle. Okay, and so explain the ruling about Creature Swap to people that so, don't know. Yeah, like, Creature Swap only cares about after resolution if they change battle position. So, like, for example, if you activate it and they chain Book of Moon to a monster, Creature Swap will still resolve. Um, it also doesn't target, so it won't blow stuff up like Spirit Reaper or whatever. So. And um, so, like, so for anybody playing it, like, they can switch. Because I know a lot of people will switch, like, tokens to attack and then... Yeah, you can switch tokens to attack and then activate this. So okay. if someone changed Scapegoat to it and leaves one in attack, and, like, I don't know if Scapegoat specifies they have to be in defense. Yeah. It does? Yeah. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> but, yeah, you can change Scapegoat to it and still give me a goat token, just okay. not an attack. Um, and then I played two knocks okay. because it's just another out to flip effect monsters. Right. Honestly, sometimes I wish I would have made Book of Moon or Tsukiyomi to make this even more alive because sometimes it just didn't do anything. It just kind of sat in your hand for a little bit. Yeah. Um, against Warriors, I actually sided it out because. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't care. Um, and then I played six traps. I played three of the best ones. Honestly, this was probably the worst one I played. Uh, this made the matchup versus Chaos better because when they activate their priority effect, you can chain this 
and then your Vampire Lord doesn't get banished. And this actually can just steal games. Because you have big monsters. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I have some big monsters and um, a lot of them can just poke for damage and then they get low enough. And okay, and explain the synergy with Tyrannal, like kind of um, so, why that's so good in the deck. Because I know it's like super good in this deck. Yeah, for example, if I have um, a Vampire Lord on the field and they summon Chaos Orc and they use their priority effect... I can chain this, okay. and priority will make theirs chain link one. This will be chain link two. This will be off the field by the time uh, Chaos Orc's effect would go off, so it's not banished. Also, it sends my monsters and their monsters to the graveyard, so I can book a life, get rid of their monsters and my monsters. So it makes book a life like live almost yeah, on the spot. Yeah. Cool. It, right. Yeah, it makes book a life better. It makes the zombies not get banished. So. It's useful. Cool. It, it also, like, can keep Sangin in, in the graveyard. So if you like, if they summon a Chaos Monster, the same thing. You can just get your Sangin to graveyard instead right. of banished. And you play Sangin, so it can trigger it. Yeah, so. and yeah, and I can normal summon Sangin to tri trigger it. The last three traps I play are the best traps. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. I just. I, I hate... mean, your opponent doesn't have to gain a thousand life ones. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just Yeah, how was how were these today? Or not today, this weekend. They were really good actually. Um I only had one time where I ended up not being able to activate them. Um and that's because someone tributes someone to Jinza. Oof. Rough. Um I did have one occasion where I ended up decking out my very my very first game. And you know, these might have contributed because I activated all three of them. But I also could have won that game, and it might have been because of these. Do you, do you, did you have anybody like MST, Breaker, Heavy? That I had stuff? I had one person blind MST it. Okay. Um, I had a couple people Dust Tornado doing the end phase after I set these. But that being said, the Dust Tornado or the MST was going to be there until I got rid of it. Right. And it's almost just as well they hit this as they hit one of these. So. Okay, that makes um, sense. Sometimes they're just kind of a bluff. All right, cool. And it's 40 in the main? It is 40 in the main. Okay. And what about the side? Because we're not playing extra deck. I don't run Metamorphosis, so there is no extra deck. Correct. Um, I play these um, for go control, really. I just, to hit the Thousand Eyes Restrict, make it to where it won't go off. Um, it can also combo with Mystic Swordsman level 2 if I needed to. Um, oh, you flip it face down and then... Yeah. Cool. And then 3 Trap Dust Shoot. If I know I'm going first, I won't side this in unless I know I know I'm going first. So, um, three rule decree. I ended up siding this in against the warrior matchup because he was playing judgments and a lot of traps. So, right. um, I only saw it once. I ended up losing that game anyway, so <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> Bummer, dude. <laughs> I play two dust tornado. Um, typically, I'll side this in when I side this in. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, I just don't want to. Like, I don't know. It's just to hit judgments in the end phase, really. Okay. Or skill drains if they're playing that package. That makes sense. I play two Azura Priest because I hate creature swapping and then ending up with goat tokens. That makes sense. Um, so Azura Priest also also like plays well with, with creature swap though. Yeah, I can it? I can normal it creature swap get whatever they have and then this will just come back to my hand. Cool. So it's kind of nice. And then I play two mind controls. I usually side that in against chaos, um, specifically flip chaos, because I like taking flip monsters, flipping them, and then getting back like creature swap. Notably, that's probably my favorite card in the deck. You ever like steal their face and then creature swap and then uh, get back like your uh, pottery or something? I, I think I actually mind controlled one of these when I was testing mind controlled a magician of faith while I was play testing you. Okay. Um, I, I got a faith. I added back. I don't remember if it was Book of Life or Creature Swap. But That's you, all I was asking because, yeah, man, to me all the time you'll like mind control, you'll flip faith, and then give it back to me with Creature Swap. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's pretty dirty. Cool, man. All right, well, um, yeah, I appreciate it, dude. And uh, we might do a 2.0. Yeah. Zombies here pretty soon because I know you're gonna want to do some. Yeah, I, changes. I, I've been thinking about doing 